Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about incidence matrix. So this is the continuation of graph theory. If you didn't watch the class about graph theory, please go through it. So let us go through the classes. The incidence matrix of a particular graph is a matrix which gives the complete information regarding the connections of various branches to nodes and the orientation of these branches. towards the nodes. So, incidence matrix is denoted by the letter A. It gives the complete information regarding the connections of various branches to nodes and the orientation of these branches towards the nodes. If N is the number of nodes and B is the number of branches then the order of the matrix incidence matrix is n by b so consider a graph so in a graph we know that if each branch is indicated by arrows it is called oriented or directed graph oriented or directed graph and these arrows are the indication of current flow or voltage rise in the network it can be easily identified from an oriented graph regarding the incidence of branches to nodes and it is possible to have an analytical description of an oriented graph in a matrix form called the incidence matrix and the number of n is the number of nodes and b is the number of branches and the order of the incidence matrix will be n by b there are some procedures for drawing the incidence matrix table first one is the number of branches are indicated as the column. The number of nodes are indicated as row. Then if a particular branch is not connected to a particular node, then the corresponding element in the matrix table is filled with 0. And if a particular branch is connected to a particular node and its orientation is away from the node then the corresponding element is filled with plus 1 and if its orientation is towards the node it is filled as minus 1 so not this point if a particular branch is connected to a particular node and its orientation is away from the node the element is filled with plus 1 and if the orientation is towards the node so consider this node in this case this is towards this node that means that element that column is filled as minus 1 and this is away from this node that means it is filled as plus 1. Consider a graph like this. So let us draw the incidence matrix for this graph it is denoted by the letter A. And the order is n by b. So n is here 4. Then 4 by b is number of branches are 6. So the incidence matrix will be a matrix of order 4 by 6. And here the number of nodes are denoted by 1, 2, 3, 4. So let us mark 1, 2, 3, then 4. And the number of branches are a, b, c, d, e and F. Now let us mark each element in this table. So while considering node 1, the branch A is incident towards the node. So towards the node means it is ended as minus 1. 
then next one is b and b is away from the node 1 so it is marked as plus 1 c is also away from the node plus 1 and no other branches are incident on this node 1 so d e and f are not incident so it is end, ended as 0 next consider the node 2 so to the node 2 a is not incident then b is towards the node so towards the node means it is minus 1 then c is not connected to node 1 node 2 so it is 0 then d d is towards the node so it is minus 1 then e is away from the node so it is plus 1 f is not connected so 0 then while considering node 3 a then b and c a and b are not connected then c is incident towards the node 3 so it is minus 1 then d d is away from the node so it is plus 1 then e is not connected so 0 then f is away from the node so plus 1 next is node 4 node 4 is while considering node 4 a a is away from the node that is plus 1 then b b is not connected then c is also not connected and d not connected then e is towards then minus 1 f is also towards the node plus, minus 1 so this is the incidence matrix for this graph and there are some important properties for this incidence matrix that is the algebraic sum of the column entries of an incident matrix is 0. That is while considering this column, the algebraic sum of these entries is equal to 0. That is minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Here also 0. Here also 0. Here also sum is 0. Here also, here also the sum is 0 while taking in the column wise entries and here each column representing a branch contains two non-zero entries plus one and minus one and the rest being zero the unit entries in a column identify the nodes of the branch between which is connected so while taking this the node to the node for this branch A is connected and its orientation is away from this node. So, we can also draw a graph from incidence matrix. That is while considering an entry from this matrix, we can conclude that whether it is connected to a branch or not and also it is away from the node or towards the node so from that knowledge we can draw a graph easily from an incidence matrix so the unit entries in a row identify the branches incident at a node and their number is called the degree of the node that is while considering this node how many unit entries are there? So, there are three unit entries. So, the degree of node 4 is 3. Similarly, degree of this node 1 is 3 like that. So, how many unit entries are in a row indicate the degree of that corresponding node. And another important one is reduced incidence matrix. Reduced incidence matrix. That is if one row of this incident matrix is deleted. So 
if one row is deleted the resulting matrix will be n minus 1 by b and that matrix is called reduced incidence matrix so let it be a1 denoted by the letter a1 so if one row of the incidence matrix is deleted then we get a n minus 1 by b matrix and it is called reduced incidence matrix denoted by a1 and it is possible to find the exact number of trees that can be generated from a given graph if the reduced incident incidence matrix is known and the number of trees is given by determinant of a1 into a1 transpose so the number of trees can be obtained from the knowledge of this reduced incidence matrix a1 and it is given by determinant of a1 into a1 transpose so let us do a problem draw the incidence matrix of the graph so this is the given graph so there are four number of nodes and six number of branches are there so the resulting incidence matrix A will be of the order of n by B that is 4 by 6. That is A is equal to the nodes are 1, 2, 3, then 4 and branches are A, B, C, D, E and F. So while considering node 1, A is away from the node that is plus 1 then b not connected c not connected then d towards the node minus 1 then e away from the node then f is not connected then while considering node 2 a is towards the node minus 1 then b is away from the node plus 1 then c not connected then d not connected E not connected and F is away from the node so plus 1. Then while considering node 3, A is not connected, B is towards the node, then C is away from the node, then D is not connected, then E is towards the node minus 1, then F is not connected. Then while considering node 4, A is not connected then b is not connected then c is towards the node that is minus 1 then d is away from the node so here while considering this column there is one minus 1 so there will be a plus 1 anywhere in this column so while entering each entries we can also check whether it is correct or not by, by adding the column wise entries and it should be 0 by adding the entries in the column. So while considering node 4, E is not connected, then F is towards the node that is minus 1. So this is the incidence matrix for this graph let us do another problem that is draw the directed graph from the incidence matrix given so this is the incidence matrix given so we have to draw the directed graph so there are four number of nodes and seven number of branches are there first of all mark the nodes that is one then two three let it be like this that is 4 here so by considering node 1 a the branch a is connected and it is towards the node 1 and this a is connected to node 3 also so let the branch be common the branch is common to 1 and 3 nodes so it will be like this so 
and direction is this is towards the node A and while considering node 3 it is away from the node. Next is C. The branch C is connected to node 1 and node 4. So it will be here. So we can draw in this way and this is towards the node and this is A this is C. So C is towards node 1 and away from the node 4. Next is D. D is common to 1 and 2 nodes. So it will be here and this is plus 1 that is it is away from node 1 towards node 2. Then next is E not connected, F not connected, G. G is connected to node 1 and 4. So node 1 and 4 it will be like this. And G is connected to node 1 away from the node. And to node 4 it is towards the node 4. Next is node 2. So this is G. And here this is D. So there are 4 number of branches connected to node 1. And the degree of node 1 is 4. So degree of node 1 is 4. Next is node 2. So while considering node 2, A is not connected, then B is connected. And this B is connected to both 2 and 3. So this is B. And this B is towards node 2, away from the node 3. Then C is not connected, then D is connected. That we have already marked. Then E not connected, F is connected. And this F is connected to both the common A2 and 3. So this is F. And this F is towards node 2 away from the node 3. Then G is not connected. Then while considering node 3, A is connected. Then B is connected. C not connected. D not connected. Then E is connected. And this E is common to both 3 and 4. So this is E. And this E is towards node 3 and away from the node 4. Then F is connected. Then G not connected. Then while considering 4, A, B are not connected. Then C is connected. D not connected. Then E is connected. That is away from the node. Then G is towards the node 4. So, there are three number of branches connected to node 4 and degree of node 4 here is 3. So this is the oriented graph obtained from the incidence matrix. Let us do another problem. Obtain the incidence matrix A from the following reduced incidence matrix A1 and draw its graph. So this is the given reduced incidence matrix A1. So reduced incidence matrix means one row is eliminated from the incidence matrix. So first of all we have to find the incidence matrix and how will you get the incidence matrix? So we have to add one row. One row into the reduced incidence matrix then we will get the incidence matrix A. So matrix A will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there will be 6 rows in the incidence matrix and the branches are A, B, C, D, 
E, F and G. So, while considering the first column, A is minus 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0. So, what will be the first element of the sixth row? So, while considering the column, the sum of all the entries should be equal to 0. So, here only minus 1. So, this one will be plus 1. Next is B. That is 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0. And this one will be 0 because there are, on, there are 2 entries in this column. Next is C. 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And this one will be 0 because there are 2 entries. Next is D. 0, 1, minus 1. 0, 0 and this one will be 0 because here there are 2 entries. Next is E, 0, 0, then 1, minus 1, 0, 0. F is 0, 0, 0, then 1, minus 1 and this one will be 0. Next G, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1 and this one will be minus 1 because only one element is here. So, this is the incidence matrix. Next, we have to draw the graph. So, there are six nodes and seven branches. So, let us draw the graph. So, one, then this is two, then three, then four, 5, 6. So, there are 6 nodes. Now, we can draw the graph. So, while considering the first node, that is node 1, A is connected and this branch A is common to both 1 and 6. So, branch A is common to 1 and 6 and to the node 1, it is incident that is towards 1 the branch A is incident and from 6 this is away from the node. Then next is B. B is connected to node 1 also to node 2. So B is connected to node 1 and 2 and this B is towards node 1 sorry away from the node 1 so this is in this direction and towards node 2 next is c c is not connected to 1 d is not connected e f g are not connected to node 1 next by considering node 2 a is not connected then b is connected then c the branch c is connected and this branch c is connected both 2 and 5. So, between 2 and 5, there is another branch and it is C. And this C is away from the node 2 towards the node 5. Then D. D is connected to node 2, also node 3. So, this is D. And D is away from the node 2 towards node 3. Next is E, F, G are not connected to node 2. Next is node 3. A, B, C are not connected. Then D is connected. We have already marked. Then E is connected to node 3. And this E is connected to node 3 and 4. So, this is E. And this E is away from the node 3 towards node 4. Then F and G are not connected to node 3. Next, while considering node 4, A, B, C, D are not connected. Then E is connected towards the node 4. Then F is connected to node 4. And this F is common to both 4 and 5. So, this is F. And F is away from the node 4 towards node 5. Then G is not connected. Then while considering node 5, 
A, B are not connected. C is connected. We have already marked. Then D, E are not connected. F is connected. Then G is connected. And this G is common to both 5 and 6. So this is G. And G is away from the node towards the node 6. So this is the graph obtained from the incidence matrix. So in this way, we are doing the problems related to this incidence matrix, reduced matrix and graph. So that is about the incidence matrix. Thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share and subscribe my channel.